Hey guys, welcome to the Differentiation of a Polynomial Part 2. Hopefully you've been watching this series, so this doesn't seem like coming out from left field. So if you haven't watched Part 1, make sure you watch it before you come to this particular video. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, what we're going to be looking at is um, same, you know, same kind of ideas behind differentiation, except the functions now are going to end up with like, where you're going to have like question 2 where it's a fraction, question 3 where there's brackets involved, and question four, where you're gonna to have to expand the brackets as well. So a few extra things to keep in mind, but at the end of the day, they still follow the same protocol and just kind of learn a few um, tips and tricks just to get you through this. So what we have is we've got f of x. So when we differentiate it, we're gonna write it as f dash of x. Now x cubed, it differentiates to three x squared because the coefficient of x is one. So that's gonna become three x. And then the power is reduced by 1, so 3 minus 1 is 2. Then I've got negative 8 times 2, which is negative 16. And then x to the power of 2 minus 1 is just 1, so I don't really need to write the 1, I can just leave it as it is. Um, and of course, 2x, when I differentiate 2x, I'm going to get just 2. And as for the 5, it becomes 0. Now, let's say you're watching this and you just went, what the hell just happened? Um, I'm going to tell you guys this right now. Go and watch part 1 of this series so that you can actually see how I got to this part. Okay, so uh, that's what happens with um, when you have like a really big polynomial with a lot of x terms, but you still follow the same procedures. You differentiate one of each term one at a time, and then you uh, write the final gradient equation. Okay, so going to number two. Number two, what we have is we've got this eight in the denominator. Now remember that this could be rewritten as this. Because it's three over eight, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write it as 3 over 8 multiplied by x to the power of 4. Because remember, then uh, 3 over 8 becomes that a value that we talk about. So for example, if you remember what the formula was, the formula was y is equal to ax b, uh, then we can say that y dash is equal to a times b uh, times x to the power of b minus 1. So what I've literally done here is I've actually converted this 3 over 8 as the a value. So now when I differentiate it, I'm going to get y dash is equal to uh, 3 over 8 multiplied by 4 uh, multiplied by x to the power of 4 take away 1. So again, same rules as what it was before. Uh, so in this case, we're going to get uh, 3 times 4, which is 12. So we're going to get 12 over 8 x to the power of 4 take away 1 is 3. Now 12 over 8 can be simplified and we're going to simplify it to be 3 over 2 x to the power of 3. Now some of you might decide actually I want to leave this as 1.5. Um, you could leave it as a 3 over 2, you could leave it as 1.5, it uh, really doesn't matter. Cool, so that's question number 2. Uh, now we go to question number 3. Now question number 3, and this is something you need to know, when you're dealing with um, brackets and you want to differentiate, the best thing is to get rid of the brackets. So the way we're going to get rid of this brackets is by expanding this equation. So what we're going to end up with is y is equal to x times x, which is x squared, and then x times 3, which is 3x. So now when I differentiate it, uh, x squared can differentiate to be 2x, and then 3x, when you differentiate it, you're going to get just plus 3. Okay, hopefully that made sense there. Uh, let's go to the last question. Now, what am I going to do? I've got y. So with the last question, I have to actually write down what y is first. So I need to expand the brackets. So I'm going to write it as 3 minus 2x multiplied by 3 minus 2x. And then I need to expand this quadratic. So that means I'm using uh, FOIL, well, whichever method that you guys are comfortable with, feel free to use it. So in this case, what I've got is I've got 9 minus 6x minus 6x plus 4x squared. Now this simplifies to 9 minus 12x plus 4x squared. Now at this point I can differentiate. Um, now I know I've been using y dash before but in this case I'm going to use dy dx and that's all right because that is still just another way of writing what the gradient is. So 9 when I differentiate it becomes 0 so I don't have to worry about it negative 12x when I differentiate it becomes negative 12 and then I've got plus uh, 4 times 2 which is 8 and then I'm going to get 8x to the power of 1 because the 2 take away 1 is just 1 and we don't have to worry about it. 
Okay, I'm just gonna do one more example guys because I just seen another type of question. So you could also have something like this where you have x to the power of 4. Sorry, let me just put that right. So let's say we actually end up with a function that actually looks like this. Then your first step is to actually separate the terms, all right? Because you can't just differentiate this straight away. So what you'll need to do it is to rewrite this as x to the power of 4 over 8 minus 3 over 8. And once you do that, now you should be able to differentiate it. So that means we bring the power down in front of x. So it's going to be 4 times 1, which is just 4. Uh, if you're wondering where I got that 1 from, remember that it is 1x to the power of 4. So that means I've got 4x and then 4 take away 1 is 3. So the power goes down to 3 and that's divided by 8. Now because I've got negative 3 over 8 and it's a constant, it's a number by itself and when I differentiate it, it will become 0. So don't have to worry about it and we just leave it as it is. Now as for the 4 and 8, I can simplify this further and I can rewrite this as x to the power of 3 over 8. Cool. Alright guys, uh, that's basically it for this uh, video here. Uh, as always, don't forget to like this video, share this video and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. There should be some playlists popping up, awesome revision material there, check them out. And as always, thank you for watching.